Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a first impression slash review on the LA Girl HD Pro Concealers. I got the orange corrector. I got the concealer in natural. And I got the concealer in toast. I live in Miami, so I got these in a store called Dark and Lovely. So if you have that store, they will have these concealers for $2.99 each. So I haven't even opened them yet. This is my first time trying these out. So hopefully these match my skin tone. <laughs> if I could open it. Okay, so these have like a brush applicator, which I really like. I'm going to swatch each one for you on my hand. I'm so scared because I feel like it's going to like square everywhere. This is like really orange. So this is the orange one. I'm going to use this to color correct under my eyes. This is the concealer in natural. I'm going to use this in the places that I want to highlight. Okay, and this last one is toast. I'm going to use this to contour or bronze up my skin. They're all very creamy. They don't really smell like much. Okay, so my skin is ready. I moisturized, I primed, and I did my eyebrows beforehand. So we're going to start with the orange corrector to use it under my eyes. This is very pigmented, so a little does go a long way. So I'm just using a brush like this to buff this out. You don't have to go all the way down, I just blended it down. But it does blend fairly easily. Okay, so now I'm going to apply my highlight. I like to do my highlight and then blend it out and then do my contour and then blend it out. I don't like to do the whole highlight and then the contour and then blend it all together. Okay. They do apply very smoothly, so I like that. I'm just gonna put a little bit down my nose. Put them in the middle of my forehead. On my chin. And around my nose. So now I'm gonna blend this out. So they blend very easily, sort of just melts into the skin. I think the only thing is that I use too much of the corrector, so the orange is peeking through a little bit, so for future reference, I need to use less orange. Okay, so I blended out my highlight. I really like it, it blends out nicely. So I'm gonna do my contour. I'm gonna start like from above my ear to the end of my eye right there. Contour this area right here. around my temples since I have my baby hairs there I don't do it that area cuz I don't want my baby hairs to get dirty I'm just gonna do the tip of my nose because this area of my nose it's decent but this area is a little wider so I'm just gonna do that I don't like to contour my jaw, but if you if you need to contour that area, go ahead and do it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna use my MAC 130 brush to blend out the contour. I know it looks really warm on camera, but in person, it's not that warm. Okay, so I'm gonna use my beauty blender just to take off any excess and to blend it a little further. Okay, so that blended out really nicely. I'm gonna blend out my nose. Okay, so that's the highlight and the contour. Very blended out, I really like it. Thank God it fit my skin tone. <laughs> that would have been a fail. So when I do um, liquid or cream highlight and contour, I like to go in with a very light foundation just to melt everything together and to make it look a little more natural. So I'm using the MAC Face and Body. I am in the shade N3. I'm putting a little bit on my hand I'm going to use the clean part of the beauty blender just to grab it and to dab it on my face. This is a very light, lightweight foundation. Okay, so now that my foundation is on, I'm going to go ahead and set everything with a powder. I'm going to use my Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder to set my highlight areas. And I'm using an e.l.f. brush. Okay, so now I'm going to set my contour areas. I'm using my Hoola Bronzer from Benefit. And I'm using this MAC Small Contour Brush. So I'm just going to set my whole face with my Studio Fix powder. Okay, so I'm going to do my makeup and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm done with my makeup. I just did a wing liner and I added some highlight and I did my mascara. Okay, so my final thoughts on these concealers. I really like them. They're not too heavy. I think the corrector does a good job in hiding my dark circles and they blend out beautifully. They blend out quickly. They, they go on smooth and they're cheap. Not in quality, but the price is pretty cheap. I like the applicator on these. So my final thoughts on the LA Pro concealers is uh, yes, I really like these. I would recommend these. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned, I will upload many more videos. I know I'm slacking on the videos, but I'm trying to get those up for you. Thank you so much. Bye.